Yo, what's up everyone, it's Dulex. You know, for a long time, I've been trying to build a bed that can fold inside of a wall, but I've never quite been able to get to make it work. But this time, I think I can do it. I'm gonna get started by working on the base for the couch that's gonna be underneath the folding bed. Let's get to work. So now the next day I headed over to the trailer to try to get this bed put in and it started snowing and I checked and it has just now dropped down below freezing. It's about 31 degrees now. Building in the freezing weather is pretty fun because you just have extra stuff to deal with just to make sure you don't freeze, your materials don't freeze and um, dealing with frozen glue is always cool. I'm gonna be drilling this into uh, here from this angle right here. So this is actually gonna go on here like this. It's going to be the additional seat, but I need to make the legs so it can stand up. I'm gonna drill these pieces into this and into that and then put it in place. That's, that's all I'm gonna do. Look at that, man. Perfect fit. Now I just need one more piece that goes from here to here and I'll drill that into the wall. Frame for the seat will be done. Now that I got that couch space done, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the actual bed that's going to be hidden inside the wall.
So as usual, we've got some good news and we've got some bad news. The good news is that the bed frame fits in there the way it's supposed to. It folds up into the wall and it goes down into position properly. The bad news is that it's actually in the way of where the air conditioner is supposed to go. And I also measured this bench wrong. So it's supposed to be 24 inches from where this starts and not from the actual wall. So I'm gonna actually end up extending this and then probably cutting a notch out over here for the shape of this air conditioner. So I'm gonna be using a combination of these two by twos and two by threes to make that bench bigger. And I'm gonna be using my frozen workshop setup over here.
careful because this whole area right here was a puddle but now it's just all solid ice so i'm not trying to slip and fall so i have to be careful walking back and forth over here got a few things left to handle but this is where we're at right now so with the bed out this is the size of it it's a little bit more than six foot two long and then it's about 48 inches wide so it's a little bit smaller than a regular full-size mattress but when you bring it up the idea is that this will be completely hidden inside the wall but I don't have any of the hardware in there to secure it yet because I wanted to finish up all of the trim around here so this would just look like a solid wall when I'm done before I get the hardware in there because I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to use for that. Down here, I really like the way that I did these drawers. I put finger pulls in these drawers rather than actually putting handles on them just because it gives it a way more clean look. And we have two drawers over here. They're 16 inches deep right here. And then underneath the cushion, when you pick it up, there's actually additional storage in the back. It's kind of like a secret storage space back behind there. And you can just throw whatever, whatever you want back there. And then under the other side, this one is just having all of the electrical stuff and the water and all that stuff that was originally in the trailer. I'm going to be reusing that space for the same exact thing because I like where they put it. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. I don't really have much else to say. I don't really have much else to do. In the next video, I'm going to be finishing up all of this and making this be a finished wall before I start working on my next thing. So thank you guys for watching this all the way to the end. I got nothing else for you, so uh, I'm out. Later.